Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am hoping to uh, colour in Matchstick Mouse, a summer colouring book. I'm going to um, colour this page. Um, I've got a video where I've shown how I use some chalk crayons to uh, colour this background. So that is on my channel if you're interested. Um, and um, I said, uh, I asked if anybody was interested um, in, I can't remember which video I asked in, but I asked if you'd be interested in seeing me work with my new 72 Chromaflow pencils and I'll share my views on what I think of them and this is going to be me talking about those pencils and also maybe just a colour and chat for general stuff as well. So um, let's get started. So let me bring this in a little bit um, and also just, well, before we do that, let's just have a look at, come back out again, sorry. Um, let's just have a look at these Chromaflow pencils. So I have them here. Um, I remember when they first came out, I was really, really pleased with them. The 24 set. They are uh, really nice pencils um, by Derwent. Um, still, I mean, we're going from 24 to 72, but they, I mean, I wouldn't use these alone. That is why I've put them in a case with the um, 72 Colour Soft Derwent pencils, because I often use these together so that there's a bit more choice, really, in terms of colours. Um, I have swatched these out, and I'll just show you the um, swatches. So these are the colours. What I really like is that there are some unique colours, um, some really beautiful colours in here. Um, for example, the pastel mint I really like, um, and the cactus. Uh, the pickle is really nice colour. There's some beautiful colours that, you know, are not necessarily uh, easy to find in other sets um, but yeah so that's what we're going to do we're going to colour with them and I'm going to share my thoughts um, around what I think of them so we're going to colour the little mouse um, I haven't chosen any colours because I thought I'd do it on camera so um, I'm going to go with um, let's see probably peach sand brown sugar I might not use all of these mocha natural brown and coffee bean so I'm going to pick those colours out peach sand let's see it takes me forever to choose colours as well but that wasn't too long was it peach sand brown sugar um, mocha could do with a mocha now actually um, and then we've got there is that spice colour as well but we'll leave that for now natural brown and coffee bean right where are you coffee bean there we go. Right, so I'm going to put the rest to the side and might need to sharpen these a little bit but not too much. I'm just going to use my handheld MNR sharpener. So when I first got these pencils and I got them from the Derwent website because I think there was first time users could get 20% off. So they were priced at about £120 that's UK pounds and um, I got 20% off so they were about just under £100 I think and um, yeah I was really pleased to receive them they came quite quickly as well um, now these are a slimmer barrel than the other Derwent um, lines of pencils uh, the other ones are a thicker barrel um, but yeah they, that you know I, I suppose that people were saying that they were 
Um, so I'm going to use my peach sand. It's not colour along. It's just using them, isn't there? Using the pencils. Um, they are meant to compete with the prismas. Um, I mean the prismas, 150 pencils with 72, a greater, you know, selection there compared to 72. So straight away they're going to fall short a little bit. Um, what do I think in terms of how well they're made? I've got to be honest now, I'm pro Derwent because of course I've got a special spot for Derwent in my heart because it's a UK brand I've been to the Derwent shop many times when we've been in holiday at the Lake District I've been to the pencil museum there and the, the Derwent shop and you know I I really do like Derwent um, as a brand they produce some unique pencils like the ink tense pencils there's nothing else like that so they they are a fantastic brand um, and let me bring you in a bit sorry didn't realize I got carried away there um, so they are a brilliant brand I've got to say that the quality for these pencils does not seem on par with um, some of their other lines I haven't got all their other lines, but I've got the Colour Soft, I've got the um, Light Fast, um, I've got a few of the Pro Colours, not many, but they're too hard for me really to, to buy the sets, you know, the set of them. Um, I just got some to try out. I've got the Ink Tents, I've got the 48 watercolours I think which I really like as well so why do I say um, the quality is not particularly great that's because the wood here is and this is what one thing that I know is quite early on is the wood is quite flaky it's not I don't know the wood doesn't seem as good quality as um, I'd expect um, it does seem flaky it seems a little bit flimsy and not you know like a well well built pencil don't get me wrong it's I do think it's got the edge over Prismacolor in in build quality because Prismacolor quality control isn't great from my experience um, and these are slightly better when I did sharpen these you know for my swatching I did get about three three or four breakages but then you would expect a little bit of breakage from, um, you know, pencils that are softer. Because that's sort of nature of the beast, isn't it? Um, the other thing that I noticed with these pencils is that there are a few that are not quite on, you know, they're a bit off centre, like this one. I mean, it's not that bad, that one, but I've got some that I really, really bad. Let me see if I can find one. That's not so great. Um, this one's not great. Oops, show you. You can tell that that's off centre and I, I'm quite afraid of them breaking. Um, that one there as well quite afraid of them breaking you know when I um, sharpen them but they they've been they have been okay when I've been using them not too bad um, I haven't had like loads of breakages but then again I don't get loads of breakages with my prismas um, there's the odd occasion when the pencil um, breaks but I haven't had any atrocious sort of breakage issues um, with them so all in all I think they are really nice pencils um, they lay down really nicely um, my biggest gripe with them is I think they are very overpriced for what they are um, 
compared to a light fast and the quality of the light fast you can just tell from holding the pencil itself um, these are way overpriced I think and they need to really come down a little bit in price Um, now you can, I've, I've seen some reviews online saying that you can't get these open stock but you, but well it might be in, in certain countries that you can't get them open stock but you can purchase them from the Derwent store directly as open stock pencils because I did look on the Derwent website and they do sell these pencils open stock so um, I, don't, I don't think they're available elsewhere as open stock right now but I know that the um, they are available open stock from the Derwent store directly. So that is a definite big, big plus. Um, but if they can make them more widely available open stock from, say, you know, other places like Cult Pens or you know places like that then I think that that will be even better but you can get them open stock so in that respect they are quite comparable to getting Prismacolor I guess open stock just need to be more widely available um, but it depends where you are I guess in the world but they lay down so lovely I mean they're so um, I have to say that not I don't like using them on, on all paper so there's a couple of Japanese colouring books I've got which I used these on and I didn't really like how they were laying down on there but on um, Amazon printed paper they work so nice and of course there's so many books that are on Amazon printed paper and to find some pencils that work really nice on them is um, you know welcome I guess so yeah I, I really like how they lay down they blend beautifully they are a really good pencil I, I do really like them I just I think my main thing would be to say that um, the price needs to be for what they are I think the price is too high um, I wouldn't say they're badly built built quality I just think that compared to Derwent's other lines I don't think it's as good um, but it's still still nice enough you know um, and I really like the different colours as well that you get I, the colour selection for the set is really nice and they're really they're really nice to work with blending and layering seems quite good so far on this paper on this Amazon printed paper it's really nice and uh, I don't regret buying them at all I'm happy I'm happy with them um, so yeah I think I'm going to keep his belly quite light actually uh, or maybe just a little bit just under here so yeah um, if you've already got the Prisma colours 150 do you need these pencils um, you don't need them but it's a matter of whether you want them and the fact is that they are a different feel so you know how how this, this seem like I don't know about the oil and the wax based and all of that sort of stuff but they do have a slight they have a different feel to using Prisma colors to me it's a bit it's it's like an in between a polychromous and a Prisma color and it's a nice smooth soft lay down and the the pencil core is quite soft um, not as soft as Prisma color but it is soft you know it is soft and um, I I like the way that it lays down 
the pigment is beautiful you know it's very rich um, so I, I really like it um, in the past I've also where I've had problems with breakages um, with a Derwent pencil I have um, contacted Derwent customer service and they've always been really really good uh, really supportive and helpful and um, that's something else to bear in mind as well so I'm using my natural brown now I'm not going to put this on his tummy I'm just going to add it as shading so you can see that even on Amazon printed paper this is like my I don't know first fourth fourth layer fourth pencil that I'm putting down and it's taking it which I think for Amazon printed paper is really good it's definitely enjoyable using these but of course pencil using pencils is a very personal thing what I like you might not like what you like I might not like but I can only describe um, what I think about these but I think they work really nice on Amazon printed paper pigments lovely so yeah that's my thoughts on uh, this these pencils and I'm really pleased that Derwin actually um, got out a bigger set as well just just think the price needs to be reduced and maybe make the open stock availability a bit more you know make them available more widely um, so that people can get hold of the open stock basically oh, I think he looks quite nice actually he's gone for a spot of fishing as a little mouse so yeah how are you all doing um, <laughs> I'm doing okay I feel a little bit under the weather I've just finished um, but then again when when do I feel under the weather I've got um, a blocked nose I feel a little bit my throat feels a little bit weird Um, probably might be getting some sort of cold or something I don't know but I don't feel too bad I feel okay so hopefully it'll stay that way and then my last darkest colour I'm going to use is coffee bean so I'm just going to pop that just here Uh, yeah, I haven't managed to colour much this this um, month of May and the reason is because I've been so busy at work um, I only got a lot more colouring done in April because it was the Easter holidays really so um, I had more time to play with really but now it's, um, you know, I'm at school school so it's been quite busy and um, I will be quite busy in June as well so I don't think I'll be getting many videos out not that I do that many videos but I try to do two a week minimum but it'll I'm not sure what I'll get done in June because I am doing some additional work I'm examining so that's gonna be short deadlines and everything so I'll be working as well so I'm doing the examining so I'm not going to have much time I'm afraid for YouTube so um, back to my lightest colour now um, I don't think I'll get much time but I'll do what I can but yeah hopefully should be then have more time for the summer holidays which I'm so looking forward to we'll be going away as well for a couple of short breaks I hope to 
to get stuff done. Right, so that's my little mouse. Um, right, what should we do next? Um, just use a few greens. Like I said, there's some beautiful greens in this set. Oh, the other thing is, um, I just bought some pencils recently and... Oh yeah, it wasn't recently, sorry. I'm just thinking the Derwent Light Fast, they don't actually have um, numbers on them. Because I wanted to write the numbers on my, you know, on the actual case itself. Um, right, what I'm going to do now is choose some greens. So, uh, I think foliage is a beautiful colour. I'm going to use... Um, 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 it's raining outside. It's quite a dull day, actually, today. Um, foliage and pickle. Shall I use foliage, pickle, possibly pear as the lightest colour, right choose them, pear, foliage and <clears throat> right where are you pickle? There we go. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little more colouring on camera. Talk about just just like a colouring chat, I guess. And um, yeah, I think my mouse looks quite nice. Sorry about that. <laughs> I went in a little bit too much. Um, oh. I thought I was going to get a breakage then. It's a bit, a bit, um, that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to just do this little bit here, this greenery. So I'm just putting on pear lightly. So yeah, it's a dull day today. It doesn't seem like a spring day, but we have had some good days, good weather days. So yeah, um, what else? I'm sort of running out of a few ideas. I would like to do a colour along, um, but I'm not going to be able to in June because I'll be just way too busy for that. But um, I might actually do my five or ten most favourite current colouring books I think that might be okay to do so now I've got the oh yeah this is definitely yeah this is loose so this foliage is going to break I think it's just held in at the moment I guess I'll have to be careful with sharpening. I mean, I use a good quality sharpener. I have got the m &R sharpener and I change the blade quite um, regularly. Well, I don't change it. That's husband's job. Um, um, so, yeah. That's one of my video ideas to do a, you know, what my current five colouring books, favourite colouring books, five or ten, I'm not sure yet. Um, and I would at some point like to start a tag because I've never done a tag before. Um, I've never started a, yeah, I've never started a tag. I think that would be quite interesting. It's just, um, coming up with questions I guess which probably will overlap with some previous tag questions but I've tried to think of some original ones as well yeah I do really like using these pencils on Amazon printed paper they work really nice Definitely a pencils person, me. Prefer pencils to markers just because I. 
um, just find them easier to work with really I'm not particularly good at blending alcohol markers and the bleed you know the bleeding on the paper you know where it, where it sort of spreads out I don't like that effect So yeah, I don't I don't think I will be doing a colouring on video in June because I'm just going to be far too busy to do something like that, unfortunately. But hopefully in the second half of July I might be able to do that. So it, it will be extra work. My extra work will only last... Um, about a month, three three weeks to four weeks, after which it should be done. But yeah, really looking forward to the summer holidays. Really, always look forward to the summer holidays. It's just something that's just fun, isn't it? Be enough work for five and something weeks. Usually we get six weeks, but it's a little bit less this time for some reason there we go right I'm going to use some other greens for this back bit here as well um, let's see um, I do really like this pastel mint cactus and obsidian green such a nice name as well obsidian green so yep, yeah, got me obsidian green, uh, pastel mint and cactus. They're all actually next to each other, which is highly useful. So yeah, um, the other idea I had was, and this idea I had quite a while ago, which was to do a video on um, my five favourite sparkly supplies. So I might try to do that because doing a favourite sort of series is always like interesting to do um, and I've done some in the past but it's been quite a while since I've actually um, done a more um, up to date one so I might do one of those because I haven't done one for a while and I thought why not why not do a current favorites because of course it changes doesn't it what you what your favorites are um what your favorites are does change with time as you get new books as well so So I also will be doing buddy colours, I think, in June. The only, there's only one buddy colour that I've, I know of that I think I probably will do. And um, that's, I think, one with Imogen, because we said we were going to do one in May or June. So I might just do one. I think I can manage one. And then hopefully I shall be back to normal with more time in um, July and July is my birthday month um, so yeah I really I love that my birthday is in July because it's it's just so, such an exciting time July because you know the school holidays are coming up and yeah and I'm looking forward to quite a few books coming out in, in July. There's um there's Kanuka Goose's um English versions of his books that are coming out. I think I've already got one of his books, but there's one that I want and then I think there's a mythographic one which you know 
I am going to get the mythographic one because I like I like those books a lot. So yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get one of them. I'm so 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 looking forward to Johanna Basford's. Um, sorry, I should have brought you in a little bit. Johanna Basford's new book, Rooms of Wonder. Oh, that's just going to be amazing. I already know I'm going to get two copies of that book because it's just going to be stunning, stunning, stunning. I'll probably use one for using messy mediums like mixed media and stuff. And then the other one I'll probably, um, I shall probably just use for mainly pencil. There will be metallic paint on that as well, but metallic paint generally doesn't, sort of um you know it's it's it doesn't affect or mess the paper up too much on the other side like some other mediums might do but yeah i'm so looking forward to that book cannot wait i just love her art her art is just her artistic style is just great and then Rita Berman's books as well is just a given that I'm going to buy because I just love her art as well. I need to colour in RJ Hampson's books actually. I've got a few of them and I need to go back to them. Right, so I'm going back to my lightest colour and I'm just going to go back up there. It. right I think that's not too bad now um I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it I know this was only a shortish color and chat and talk about the Derwent chromophores but um I'm sure I'll be back at some point to do more chatting it's not really much interesting that happens in my life really so uh, probably most interesting thing is me coloring <laughs> my, my my adventures with buying art mediums and things anyway i hope you enjoyed this short little video and hopefully you'll see this completed page with our little mouse friend um at the end of may completed pages so until next time take care happy coloring bye